Hello guys and happy candle day! So as you can see, I've got my candle day Bath and Body Works antlers on. I'm in front of the Christmas tree at 7 a.m. And I have two candle day hauls for you. I went to two stores. I vlogged it, so that video should already be up. I'll link it above. But yeah, I did some haulage and I am so excited to show you guys what I got. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. And I do wanna say if this is your first time meeting me, hi, hello, it's Vicky, which is where my <laughs> channel name came from. I post a ton of Bath & Body Works content and I am posting daily uploads here on YouTube throughout the month of December. So if you would, and I would love you to stick around and subscribe down below and turn on bell notifications. But yeah, let's get into the haul. So the first store I went to, um, they opened at 5 a.m. Both of the stores opened at 5 a.m. Um, I went to the one nearest to me, which was about seven minutes away, and they had quite a few people there. I would say like 20, 25, 30, um, like enough to where we were like bumping into each other in the store, but um, they had all the candle day candles. They didn't have any of the new, new candles, like the pistachio one um, or the blueberry marshmallow bar. They didn't have any of that. Um, but yeah, they had the candle day candles and they had a few fall candles and like that was it. So I wanted to go to a second store to see what they had and the second store had candle day candles and um, some summer candles. So it was good that I went to both stores because I got to see a few different seasons. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with the first store. So I of course got some cellophane bags. Um, I am going to be gifting some things. So I wanted to pick up a few little tags. These tags say a little joy just for you. And they have like a to and from on the back. And then you can pick up these little bows to tie around the bags. So yeah, I picked up a few of those just to have on hand for gifting purposes. But um, the first thing I got, I actually had a coupon for a free wallflower. So I just picked up laundry day, just like a year round scent. Um, but let's get into the candles that I got. So. I will start with a few of the unique ones, the candle day ones. First one is unicorn sprinkles. I did pick this one up and I'm sorry you guys, I couldn't actually turn on my ring light today. I can't, the cord isn't long enough to fit where the tree is. So anyways, unicorn sprinkles. This one is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops and sugared lemon. I believe this came out in 2020 um, for SAS, for winter SAS in 2020. Oh, this one smells really good. I definitely get like, candy and lemon. This one will be really good for, Kai's right there sniffing it. <laughs> this one will be really good for Easter, I think, in the spring. And yeah, I wanted to pick up some ones that would last me year round because I have a ton of Christmas candles I really don't need anymore. Um, so I wanted to pick up kind of good year round candles. And by the way, they were handing out these bags um, right when you walked in and they had crates full already inside the uh, bags and they were handing people sometimes two um, bags. So there was like not a limit on the bags, but they definitely didn't have enough to last the whole day. It'll probably last like the first couple of hours and like that's it. So anyways, the next candle I got is the black teakwood one. This is from that really cool, I don't know what this line is called, but I love this like pattern, geometric pattern with like black, I mean um, gold crackle on it. But black teakwood is rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. I didn't actually know there was lavender in this, but it smells amazing, like a perfect men's cologne scent. So this one will be for Ryan to use in his office slash man cave. But this one smells really, really good. It's super strong. I can definitely tell this is going to be a heavy hitter. And yeah, that's black teakwood. The next one I got is Vanilla Bean from the White Barn Core Collection. I've never tried this one. I've heard great things. I really like Vanilla Bean Marshmallow and I almost got that one online, but instead of paying for shipping, I just decided to get this one. The notes are Madagascar Vanilla Homemade Marshmallow and Nutmeg. Beautiful marshmallow scent. That's really just what it smells like is marshmallows, honestly. Yeah, super nice, soft and gentle. I feel like it won't be too heavy, but it'll still be like a really nice scent. So that's Vanilla Bean. And then another White Burn Core candle is Champagne Toast. I pick up this one every single year at Candle Day because it's just a staple to have on hand. 
Great for removing odors. The notes on this are bubbly champagne, bright berries, and juicy tangerine. Kai's looking at me like he wants to sniff that one, so you can sniff it, bub. But yeah, beautiful scent. It's always a great thrower and just like a good staple scent to have on hand. So that's that one. Some more unique candle day ones. We have the blends collection. This is cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. Um, honestly, you guys, this one kind of smells like oat milk. <laughs> I don't know. The notes are decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. I do like this um, candle lid that it has. I think that's pretty cool. You can see yourself. There you go. Yeah, it smells like oat milk. I don't know why, but to me, it smells like oat milk, like how oat milk tastes. Oat milk doesn't have like a scent. But yeah, I, I get very faint chocolate and cinnamon. I don't know if this one will be very strong, but maybe it needs to sit for a little longer because maybe it was like just recently poured, who knows? But yeah, that's this one. I definitely wanted to pick it up though because those are two of my favorite scents. So that's that one. And then I also have another blends one. This is sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. I thought this one would be perfect for the springtime and it has this big beautiful purple wax. So gorgeous. The notes are sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice and sugar crystals. So it's like basically a blueberry lemonade. Wonderful scent. I don't get a ton of blueberry sugar. This really just smells like sugar lemonade to me. I don't really get any blueberry. Maybe like a tiny bit of blueberry, but for the most part, it's just lemonade to me, but still a really great scent. I do love lemonade scents anyways, so that's good. I'm sorry if you can hear the trash passing, but it is trash day, so. <laughs> anyways, another one of these like really pretty candles. This is mahogany coconut. Again, with this gorgeous geometric with some gold um, accents on it, just really pretty. So mahogany coconut is creamy coconut, mahogany woods, and English lavender. Just a really beautiful coconut scent for um, summer. And it's like sophisticated. I feel like this is like a really nice scent to have lit whenever like you have guests over. Really nice, wonderful scent. This will definitely go out in the summer. So I'm happy to have that one. Another Candle Day exclusive is Wine Cellar. They brought this back out. This was a 2021 um, Valentine's Day collection candle. Um, I think Wine Cellar might have been an online exclusive though. It was really hard to find, I remember that. But the notes are mold apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. Um, I've heard great things about this, especially from the Candle channel. And Bryn from, oh my gosh, what's her channel name? You guys know Bryn, right? But this one is not super strong, which surprises me because these notes make it sound like it'd be strong with cedar wood. So I don't know, this one might also need to like sit and cure for a bit. So if you don't know, wax does take a second to like cure. So if you order like Scentsy Wax, wax bars, um, usually they'll already like have them be cured for a while, um, which just means like the scent sets into the wax, but yeah, this one's not super strong, but I'm excited to try it. And it's this beautiful like burgundy wax. It's really pretty. Another Candle Day packaging, Paris Cafe. Now this one has been around for many years. Um, I actually haven't seen it at the stores lately in the White Barn packaging, but this is a White Barn Candle Day candle. And the notes are rich coffee, brioche, and vanilla creme. Now this one is super strong, so just know that, but um, I haven't had it in a very long time. So I really wanted to pick it up and have a good coffee scent. So yeah, that's Paris Cafe, just a good classic. And the last thing that I bought at that store is Fireside. So this one is that beautiful glass jar packaging with that gorgeous snowflake lid. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this lid and probably this packaging too. Um, I don't know why, but this seems like it's smaller than the other candles. I don't think it is. No, it's the same size, but it feels like it's smaller. I don't know. The notes on Fireside are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. This honestly does smell like a fire. Like it's really strong. You wanna smell it, Bubba? You wanna smell? It's very strong and like kind of burnt smelling, which is what it's supposed to be. Obviously it's Fireside. So I'll have to be in the mood to burn this one, but I honestly just got it for the lid. <laughs> so yeah, that one is Fireside and that's the last candle that I got, but they did actually have 50% off of the candle holders for the winter. 
So I did pick up a candle holder just because I was there and it was one that I had my eye on. So the one I picked up are these beautiful gingerbread men and ladies. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I just realized that they're all different colors. So cute. The uh, price was $24.95, so I paid $12.70 like or something. And yeah, just really gorgeous. I was happy to get this 50% off. It's a better deal than um, Cyber Monday, which is what I was gonna buy this at, but I didn't. So yeah, that is this little candle holder. And with that, we can move on to store number two. So I didn't get that much at store number two because I pretty much got everything on my list at that store. Um, the only thing that I didn't see at either store was mahogany vanilla, which makes me really sad. Um, they had vanilla balsam, which smelled great, but I really had my eye on mahogany vanilla and I just couldn't find it. So that was kind of disappointing, but the other candles I got at this store are really good, so. Okay, the first candle I picked up is In the Stars in the uh, Body Care Collection. Um, this one I smelled at the other store, but I didn't really care for it that much. But I don't know, something about being at that store, seeing it there, I thought like, oh, this would be really great to uh, burn in my bedroom. So In the Stars is Bergamot Champagne, Night Blooming Water Lily, and Pink Salted Amber. Smells great, like really bubbly, fresh and really pretty. So that is in the stars. And then they did have some summer collection candles, so I'm so excited. I got a red, white, and blue cake. I did not get to try this one um, during the summer that it came out, which is this year. So I believe this was probably just in their back stock in like the closet at the store. So they pulled this one out. This is red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. Smells beautiful. It really does smell like a berry cake. Mm, and you can even smell the whipped cream. So I'm so excited to have this one. I will be bringing this out for the summertime, but really happy about that one. And then the other one I got from this collection is buttery popcorn. It was between this and chocolate chip cookies, which I know chocolate chip cookies is good, but you can always get a cookie scent. You can't always get a popcorn scent. So the notes on this are melted butter, fresh popcorn, and a sprinkle of sea salt. I just thought it was so much of a novelty that I had to get it, but it really does smell like movie theater popcorn. So that's that one's kind of fun, fun and crazy, and I just really wanted to pick it up because I missed out on it during the summer, so I really wanted to pick it up. So that is buttery popcorn, and with that, I am done with my candle day haul. So in total, I got 13 candles. My goal was like 12, so I'm only one over. Um, but to me, I think that's totally fine, totally doable. I think I did really good. I'm about to set them up and take a little um, picture for Instagram. But yeah, that's everything for my Candle Day haul. I will see if I can go to another store tomorrow on Saturday, but I think for now I'm good. If I don't end up going, I'm not mad. I got everything that I wanted. Well, almost everything that I wanted. And yeah, so that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you liked my little antlers that I had on today. I picked these up at the Bath & Body Works store on Cyber Monday. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything for this haul. Let me know down below what's your favorite thing you picked up at Camel Day. I think mine is maybe Unicorn Sprinkles or the Summer Candles, one of those two. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.